Feeling lonely? Me too. I feel lonely a lot. But what loneliness is at its core is a lack of understanding of who we really are. When something bad happens, why me? To feel sort of a grievance that things aren't fair, to feel that other people aren't giving you what you want or what you deserve. We start from a position of feeling kind of sorry for ourselves. We deserve more than what we're getting. And so a morfati is very powerful in that you train yourself to accept everything that happens. It's sort of a banality to say that things happen for a reason, but there's some truth to it. For Nietzsche, it was, this is life. Life involves pain. Life involves adversity. You're going to die one day and it's not going to be pleasant. Your friends and family members, they're going to die one day and it's not going to be pleasant. You're going to have failure in life. People are going to hurt you. But that is life. That's what it is. So to resist that, to be angry about that means to not love life itself. Well, join an easy crowd. You won't grow. Go where the expectations are high. Go where the demands are high. Go where the pressure's on to perform, to grow, to change, to develop, to read, to study, to develop skills. Go where the demands are high. Go where the expectations are strong so that it'll provoke you, push you, urgently insist that you not remain the same for the next couple of years, the next five years, that you'll grow and change. There are so many times in life where people want to be able to change. I want to change revenue. I want to change my avenue. I want to change my residence. I want to change everything around me without truly changing the only thing that matters in life, and that's you. You've got to work on you. You've got to decide, I want to be more, and I'm going to put in the work to develop myself and stop throwing in the towel thinking that i got to quit and find a new location and start over. You can start right now working on you so that you can become better. But the only way to do that is allow yourself to build up resiliency. When it feels like everything is against you, then put your back against the wall and realize that come whatever faces me has to come at me face to face. And if I stand there, the bully's got to back down. But if you throw in the towel, if you turn your back, if you run from it, it will stalk you the rest of your life. Questions like, what could I have been? What would have happened if I had stayed in the fight? You don't have to wonder what would have been when you stay in it right now. Greatness is something that evolves out of your life because of failures you've had in the past. Every time you fall, it's an example or an opportunity to get up and an opportunity to learn from it. But you got to stay in the fight. Don't turn your back and run for the fight that was built for you. You're not overmatched. You just don't understand the match has met its mate when it met you. The battle is feelings versus discipline. And I hate living according to your feelings. I hate acting according to your feelings. They get you messed up, dude. They jack your life up. They get you in trouble because not all feelings are good. You cannot live your life based off of your feelings. Feelings do not equal reality. Feelings do not equal results. It won't get harder. Like this is the hardest part. And so if you can just make it through this, everything else is downhill. It's not that the things that you're, that the dragons are going to slay aren't going to get bigger. They are. But you become so much more equipped to slay them back. And you have so many more allies. You have people in the stands cheering for you. You have the audience. You have all of these other things that are behind you. But in the beginning, it's just you with a stick against a bear. I need you to understand that there is an undeniable power behind belief. And I know that you've never had anybody that's truly believed in you. But I'm telling you that I believe in you. I know that you can overcome your destructive habits. That you can become more confident. You can earn more. You can let go of the traumas. That shit no longer serve you. And you're better than that. I'm saying what if and start saying why not. Some people are going to live with the what if for the rest of their lives. But when I get old, I'm, I'm on my deathbed. Man, what if I would have took that chance? What if I would have just started? What if I would have took the first step? Taking the first step got us exactly where we are today. 
You take a chance to do something that you love, or something that you saw in a dream, you can change your life. But exactly where you are right now is always going to be there. It's never going to go anywhere. Your hometown is going to be the same. People are going to be doing the same shit around you. But a chance for you to get out of where you're at, step out and take a chance on life. And it could be the best decision you ever made in your life. But you can't sit down on the and what if. Just sit down on your ass and think, damn, boy, what would it be like to be there? Go fucking do it. The hardest part about change is not making the same choice as you did the day before. Now, once people understand that they're going to be uncomfortable, then the question is, what thoughts do you want to fire and wire in your brain? What behaviors will you demonstrate in one day in the act of closing your eyes and rehearsing who you're going to be when you open your eyes begins to install neurological hardware in your brain to look like you've already done it. Whatever you're thinking about, that's who you will become because thoughts lead to actions, actions lead to habits, habits lead to lifestyle. And that lifestyle is what dictates who you are. Here's the reality. Bad days are in store for all of us. It's guaranteed. It's the circle of life. So the question we need to ask ourselves is, is it really worth wasting perfectly good days fearing the bad ones? People chase happiness because they think that that's what they need. When in reality, happiness is just a byproduct of becoming the best version of yourself. So instead of chasing the emotion, become the type of person that is experiencing that emotion. And you can be in that state more consistently. I think you would give me everything you own in 25 years time to be the age you are now and as healthy as you are right now. And I think it's a really interesting meditation to think about if you had a time machine, if you were 30 years in the future, if you could be this healthy and feel this good, you give everything materially that you own in 30 years time to be back here. You have to learn to do things you hate in order to do the things you love. No payoffs come without sacrifice. Imagine how much further you'd be if you did things even when you didn't feel like doing them. People think there's some complex formula to winning when the most basic one is do what you said you were going to do before it became inconvenient. Pick up the world on your shoulders and walk forward. Pick up the world with all of its trouble, with all of its suffering, with all of its evil and move forward with it. And in bearing that burden, learn that you're the sort of creature that can bear that burden and therefore deserving of respect. I've never encountered an, an idea that's better than that. There's terrible evil and there's terrible suffering. It's bottomless. But the human spirit is capable of voluntarily taking that on as a challenge. The vision that you glorify in your mind, the ideal that you enthrone in your heart, this you will build your life by, this you will become. You will build your life by and you will become the visions that you glorify in your mind and the ideal that you enthrone in your heart. So many times in life, the enemy, the greatest enemy is the inner me, what you are enthroning in your heart and what you are visualizing in your mind. What do you see? What do you want to be? What do you want to do? What do you want to have? Those visions, either extremely, extremely positive, extremely, extremely negative, or somewhere in between in the mediocre realm, those are the visions that you will live your life by and you will become. Success is something you attract. Success is not something you pursue. It's something you attract by becoming attractive. And the whole scope of this we call now personal development. You can have more than you've got because you can become more than you are. You're in your life and you get in your car and you drive to work and you feel this restlessness. You can pay attention to that because that is a signal from deep within you trying to wake your ass up and to get you to take your life seriously. You're one decision away from a different life and you need to push your ass through all the excuses and all the feelings and start taking action. What has helped me has been me alone getting my sh together and being accountable for who I'm not and who I want to be. 
Every single negative feeling that you feel, the negative feelings that are the reason why so many people quit are actually the reason why you're doing something right. Because if you're afraid, if you're scared of what might happen, that means you're taking a risk. If you're doubting yourself, if you're questioning whether or not you can do it, that means you're testing yourself. You're pushing yourself past the point of comfort. If you're upset because your friends and family don't support you and you're dealing with criticism from them, that means you're living for you and not for them. So many people just feel the negative feeling and they want it to go away so they give up on their life they give up on their dreams but you have to understand what these feelings mean it means you're trying to do something exceptional it means you're trying to do something that most people are scared to do and it means you're doing something that's going to be worth it we're not men because we face the battle and we get immediately victory every time a battle comes up we're men because we face the battle and we stay in the battle when we feel like we're losing and we feel like we're getting beat up. But we stay in there. And we keep fighting. And we plant our feet. And we say, until death do I part. Don't be surprised that you never make any progress if you only show up when you feel like it. Nothing in this life is handed to you. Everything has to be earned. Hold yourself to this standard in everything you do, because how you do one thing is how you do everything. You can't expect professional results when you act like an amateur. Show up, put in the work, and don't stop until you get there. Let's be clear about something. The path you've chosen is going to be a difficult one. Your new life is going to cost you your old one. It's going to cost you your comfort zone and your sense of direction. It's going to cost you relationships and friends. It's going to cost you being liked and understood. But that doesn't matter. People who are meant for you are going to meet you on the other side. You're going to build a new comfort zone around the things that actually move you forward. Instead of being liked, you're going to be loved. Instead of being understood, you're going to be seen. All you're going to lose is what was built for a person you no longer are. Remaining attached to a life you're unhappy with is the greatest act of self-sabotage, and releasing it is what you must prepare for to truly be willing to see real change. Nobody knows but you. You can't get advice on what you should do with your life, right? Nobody knows what you are. Like even even sometimes you don't really even know what you what you are. You got to take your shot. Got to do it alone. And people will help you. And when you when you get the ball rolling, people will jump on. But if you don't believe, nobody else is going to believe. Yeah. Following your dreams is a lonely, solitary, scary, dangerous pursuit. You can't wait for somebody to think you can do it. It's a lonely, scary, dangerous pursuit, and you got to be willing to risk everything to become. You got to be fearless. You got to be relentless.